Hi, welcome to my tutorial. My name is Cecil and I'm going to show you how to connect your HD PVR capture to your PlayStation 3. Okay, hi. You've got your Hogpar HD PVR ready and good to go. You've taken it out of the box and you've got your component wire that comes free with the Hogpar and you've bought one for the PlayStation 3 to, to, to be able to play your games in HD. If you've got a HD M1 wire this doesn't matter. This does not. This does not affect anything. It will just switch it over to the um, onto the component channel on your TV. And um, when these two wires are put in, you're good to go. Um, I'm going to show you the next step now. What happens when you actually have these wires connected into the hog pub and the PlayStation 3? So from there, you'll be able to set everything up and you'll be good to go. So let's look into that okay first things first go into settings go to display settings then pick video output settings then press then pick components move to the right then you pick what resolution your TV has so there's 576p 720p 1080i 1080p pick whatever you, which revolution your TV can TV takes, move to the right, accept the settings, then you pick set audio output settings, then you go to audio input connector, move to the right, press X, that's it, there you go. Okay, so now you've seen how to connect the PlayStation 3 to the HD PVR okay now we're going to look on the Mac we're going to um, open up the HD PVR capture which you've downloaded from the site you can find this information on the description okay now you have your HD PVR capture open this is the first thing you see on the interface of the of this program so when you connect your HD PVR you're gonna have the device serial number you can see here your device serial number over here to the right you got description folder this is where you'll be doing your saving where you save the m2 ts files okay moving on now inputs video input you want to pick component hd that's the top that's the top row here components hd this is will bring the signal from the um playstation 3 to your tv uh audio output you want to pick rare analog RCA jacks this will bring the signal from your PlayStation 3 into the HD PVR so it's all synced together um, at the bottom here video signal this shows you how big my screen is on my TV and the, and the frames per second how much it is um, viewing at uh, at the bottom here is how long you want to record for you can put, you can game up to nine hours as you can see nine hours moving on video encoder this basically um, at, you should actually leave it as the default settings because um, basically it's more easier that way to help you see what you know what, what quality you're getting and you know how much uh, how much basically what color you're getting so basically what I, I suggest you lot to do is do some test footages first so you know how the pictures are playing and how the sound goes so do so basically do some test recording before you select what you want to pick for bit rights and peak bit right audio encoder enable blue LED light during recording yes post uh, perform post processing you want to pick yes so what will happen um, you'll get the m2s file m2ts file and you'll get an mp4 version of the file Add processed file to iTunes is either it's your option yes or no. Monitor video during recording is either yes or no for you. I pick no. What would this will do is um, it will open up a program that it will be able to to view whatever you're recording through the HD PVR. For example, the software, the free the free share software called VLC. You can uh, Google search that and find out how to get that. Um, boost audio levels during encoding um, I haven't heard any difference between the two so I, I pick yes or no which audio encoder would you prefer to recording with 
you have two choices here. You have two channel AC3 and you have two channel AAC. Um, just to let you know, between the two for PlayStation 3 users, when you take the M2TS file here, the M2TS file, and you have it in AAC, and you're you know using the audio encoder AAC, this will not play any sound on the PlayStation 3. You'll just have video audio and no sound. So it's best it's best to pick two channel AC free. Uh, video controls. This 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 sorts out the quality of the video, like the brightness, the contrast. You use your stuff, you know, to find how you want it. You know how you want it to look like. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a recording, and so you can see what happens when you've done a recording and what the next step will be. So let's get into this. So I'm going to show you something that I'm going to record right now. It's finished recording so I'm gonna hit stop as soon as I've finished doing that now I go to configuration look straight as I go to configuration it has converted whatever that I've recorded into an mp4 file so as you can see now that's the name of the m2ts file and it shows me that this the place where I've saved it and it's saying the type of recording I've done so AC3 the audio um, repackaged to be 720p and it's told me that it's done it so there you go that's how you use the HD PVR capture for more information about this great device um, I've put some information as I said before I've put some information on the information uh, description section so um, you can get the demo for free you can try it out the demo lets you record for two minutes and to pay for the, to pay for this HDV PVR capture, it cost um, twenty nine dollars, I think. I'll put all the information on the information section. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and um, I'll probably do another tutorial about what you should do with the MP4 file. So rate and subscribe, subscribe to my page for more great tutorials like this. See you later, Cecil. One. Thank you.